Alright you guys, <clears throat> okay so I know I haven't made a video in a really long time, not really really a long time, but a little bit, um, it's because I've been sick, but, and I've been moving, I've been really busy, um, so I'm gonna do a makeup storage kind of like layout of where, how I store my makeup and my brushes and all that stuff, so it's actually, you're on it, like I'm recording from my MacBook, if you can see here, Look, I can see me. That's funny. Um, you guys are right there. Um, but as you can see, what's going on? I have my foundation. Um, this one is it not a Michelle or I don't know. It was really really cheap, so I got it. I have my Mac Studio Fix Fluid Mineralize Satin Finish. Um, my SD Lauder. Um, the Max Foundation Stick or whatever the fancy name is for it. This stuff, I love it. It's the Lancome um, Micro Lift Flash Lifting. It's really nice. And my lotion, my stringent rubbing alcohol, which I honestly, if you're going to be a somewhat professional makeup artist, you should have some of that. Over here is primer for your face, uh, eyebrow, pencil, lip liner, eyeliner. Mascara, so mascaras and all that fun jazz. And then over here, this is the popular way for people to store their palettes. I don't have any of the big palettes, so I don't obviously have them in there. Um, I just keep, I do more than just makeup, so I do scrapbooking. I have some of these little fun stickers, um, a calculator, the extra MAC sponges, um, an NYC little eye palette, my lip palette. I'll show it to you. It's really fun. I can't remember where I got it. It's really old. I try to like block out most of this, but it goes nice. My Wet n Wild palette. Oh, come on. Okay, so I think I can just like go like this. Um, this fun American, well, not American Spirit, American Beauty <laughs> palette, which looks like this. Oh. <gasps> so many, so many mirrors. Um, and then just a bronzer slash blush. Um, I've been experimenting recently with drugstore things. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. A Milani one, which I would not recommend. Literally, I used this twice. And I hit pan. I was very disappointed in that product. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I'm a CoverGirl powder. As you can see, I like the matte look. Um, my Studio Fixes, my Some Kind of Gorgeous Benefit Foundation. I like this, though. Much better than this Milani one. Over here, I keep, like, my EOS lip balm. Um, here I've got combs and, like, my fun nail files and pens and pencils and stuff. Um, and here is... What are you over there? My brushes, my stippling brush, my big powder brushes, all of my eyeshadow brushes, and this fun little thing that goes at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Cost two dollars to make this whole thing. I have my contact lenses, uh, my eyelashes, all the important things. Um, and then here's some fragrances. This is Love Stop with Victoria's Secret. Um, Paris Hilton one. What is this? This is Curious Perfect Miss Fears Old Lotion. I do a lot of little samplers. And then under here, we've got just random little, these things, little plastic drawers, like um, my, what is this? Well Dressed by MAC, my Studio Sculpt Concealer, all of my lovely little eyeshadows, like Electra, Dresso, Pardon. Oh, and Glitter by Mike Bella. I love this glitter. I can't remember where I found it. I think I got it off my Ooh, Smaker Play. Um, I started out nail polishes, because I like nail polishes. Um, I have like pinks and orange and um, this fun little like pearly one. I have a lot of whites. Um, but anyways, oh and I almost forgot, over here are my lifesavers. My hair straightener, if you want to know what it is, it's a Remington uh, something, I don't know, it has like this little dial. Right here, and you can switch. It goes from one to. Okay. 
I'm to 30. I always just keep it on 30. And it locks down here as well. Yeah. And my little eyelash, my little curl. But anyway, so that is my like overall story.